today. Uh, I think I talked about it uh, a while back, but today I actually got uh, some headers um, to go in the car. Uh, they got a race coming up on July 17th. Um, all, all glass, all steel. I think I talked about it uh, probably three or four months ago. But I finally pulled the trigger and got some headers. Um, so right now I got the car on blocks, as you can see. So the front exit is also on the front. You can't have it for this particular class. And I've been thinking about it. It makes it look more streetable anyway without it. So uh, pull the trigger order. So right now that's what we're going to work on. We're going to work off taking off those and putting on headers. So let me switch the camera around and let's see if we can um, see what we got here. All right, so it's a little bright here. The sun's bright outside, but it's got a brand new box. I actually got it um, yesterday, but all the work, so stainless steel works. Got one of their, I think they're called uh, High Port 2 headers. It's supposed to be for a High Port header, but they sent me some, some stuff. So let's see. Can get these out here. So. Give me just a second. All right, you two, where are we back? So this is what they look like. Uh, like I say, they're two inch. So two inch on the, on the ports, look. So they're two inch on, on the tubes. So they actually got a little... I thought it was a ridge, but I feel it's pretty flat. It's just where they where they welded them in. And it comes down here. It's got a slip collector on it. I could take off if need be on uh, both sides. Um, has an O2 sensor if I need it. Uh, right now, I don't plan on, so I'll just put a bung in here to a 3-inch collector. So uh, these are pretty be pretty good. I, I will show you something. Uh, these these uh, headers, when I got them done, I... Uh, they put the spring up here. If you, you see that spring uh, right here, so on uh, the other day, me and my brother cranked up the car, and I'll try to get. Let me get under here so you can see. But we cranked up the car the other day, uh, about to go make a pass, and I noticed. Oh, let me this out. You notice uh, the car had a, a different sound, but let me show you what happens if you lose the spring. So <clears throat> if you look here, the spring actually broke or I lost it. Something happened to the spring and they claim out of the collector here. So <laughs> that weird, I thought it was my drivetrain, but it actually come out, uh, come to find out it was the, the exhaust. Which is a good thing because I did over, I did hit the rev limiter on the one-two shift. Um, so I'm hoping that this right here makes it a lot quieter. I mean, uh, um, I know it'll make it louder under the car, but uh, when the exhaust comes out from the side, it's just noise. I can't really hear the car, at least from my perspective. So I'm hoping that it will uh, help me out. But so uh, the game plan is to remove these and see if the old ones fit. And, uh, We'll see what happens. All right, so uh, got one out. Uh, you can see all the room we got in here. I got to clean, clean those ports up, but clean those out and see if we can put, put these these bad boys up here. And uh, I think you, the car sits uh, not low, but it could go up. So I may have to ride, raise the car up a little bit. Right now I got it on block so I can see how how low it hangs but uh let's see if we can get these on uh like i said i got to do some cleaning i'm gonna clean these ports up got that rtv uh gasket maker here so i'll clean it up i'm just gonna make sure i can get the fitment down there first before i do too much see where they hang it and then i'll clean up and well i'll uh focus back we'll focus back on uh what we got after that so Let's see if I can get those headers on. Um, I think they want to say to get that side off, it's a little 
tight because uh, some of the bolts, I, I just realized you have to use like Allen wrenches and stuff like that to get them off. So it took about 30 minutes uh, to get one side off. So we'll see. These look like the holes are easier for me to get. So these shouldn't take long at all. But anyway, you two hang in there with me and uh, I'll return. And uh, like I said, I'll try to put a clip uh, to show what it sounded like before compared to now inside. You know, of course, the, a lot of the sound was coming right out the side. So I'm expecting the same, but just the direction of, I guess it's kind of hard to hear in this garage too. It's got an echo, but anyway, uh, hang in there with me. Uh, I'll be back. All right, I want to give you a quick video. So I did have to take the valve covers off and... Um, Try to move this thing around. I had to take the valve covers off. I did get to clean uh, all the ports, so they're pretty good. Uh, I will have to clearance it right around here. It looked like where it's hitting that, but I did have to take the valve cover off to get there to it. So, got me a trusty old hammer and uh, put a little pressure right in this spot right here. Um, it may tighten up a little bit because I don't have to collect that and take the collector off to get it here, but I'm going to see if I can get it up there. Just test fit. Make sure it's, you know, we're going to have a little uh, gap here when I put the uh, the gasket maker up here. But I just want to see, make sure it doesn't hit anywhere else. Uh, and then I'll try to get that side on. Look pretty good. Didn't hang as low as I expected it. So, that's good and bad. Like I said, I still got some some uh, wiggle room. I can lift the front car up a little bit, an uh, inch or two, get some more ground clearance. And uh, I was talking over most of the time, as long as it ain't dragging the ground, I got three or four inches under it. When the car leaves the line, it's gonna lift up probably two or three inches. So it's only really on deceleration. I got to worry about it hitting, but just wanna give you an update where I'm at and uh, we'll go from there. Hang tight. Back, so we got it on. I did have to clear it around the starter a little bit right there. Um, nice uh, hammer. I uh, do not have a collector. I mean, it's a tight fit around the bell housing, but I think I'm pretty good. Um, like I say, with this setup, you will have to take the um, file covers off to get it down, especially if you don't have the motor. That's if the motor's already on the car. I looked at it, it's pretty. I mean, you can see it, but it's not terribly low. Uh, so, like I said, I might have to jack it up a little bit, but uh, I'm overall pretty, pretty happy, like I say. We'll see how the other side goes. That one took me a, a little bit to get done, but we got it. Um, probably about an hour worth of work, bending out, taking the valve covers off, stuff like that. So, all right, uh, like I say, uh, hang tight. We'll do the other side. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a piece of uh, plexiglass and see if I can rib it in that spot. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fill in that hole just yet. <laughs> Coming this weekend, I might just have a open hole like that. Um, but once I's done, we'll work on that while I got the, um, the valve covers off. I'm gonna run through the valves too. I'm gonna just leave, put them up there to keep dust out of there. But uh, I'm gonna bump the motor over and just make sure I still, cause uh, I did hit the rev limiter a couple of times. I just want to make sure, try to inspect the springs, make sure I ain't got no. Last time I. I uh, had the other motor, and I, some of the inner springs were broke. They're kind of hard to see, but I'll try to just take a good, quick glance at it. Uh, like I say, mile an hour, and and AT will determine if they really broke or getting weak. Uh, I plan on taking them off over the winter break, so if they uh, hold together, because I think they've been on this motor for two years, so plan is to take them off and uh, redo them. So, uh, like I say, hold tight. Uh, It'll probably be tomorrow before I get to finish those. I'm about to go uh, take a break right now. But anyway, like I say, if I don't uh, do a part two, which I might not <laughs> just to show you the, how the other side, I'll, I'll probably the next video will be me starting up. So if not, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you uh, at a track soon.